Hi everyone, Manime here, hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to tell the story of a film called Hakubo. Before we go, this video contains spoilers. So please take this warning for those that haven't watched this movie yet. Without further ado, here's the recap of Hakubo. The film starts with a teenage girl named Sachi living in Iwaki. She started her morning very early at 6am every day. Getting to her school took her about an hour by train and bus. She just started her high school life. Just like any normal high school girl, she is worried about her looks and is active in a club in school. As a violinist, she joined a music club. She started playing violin as she liked wearing a cute dress as a kid and somehow ended up doing her best for over 10 years already. In the club, she became friends with Hee-chan, Rina, and their senior called Matsumoto Senpai. They will be performing Beethoven's String Quartet at the school festival. After school, Sachi would always be looking forward to going back home. She would turn down her friend's invitation to hang out just for this moment. The beautiful evening scenery on the road where the world bathed in orange color. Sachi would go to a secret spot where no other students would go. She began humming a song while enjoying the vibe, air and view. The twilight just a heartbeat away from the sunset. It is the moment that Sachi savors while being in the place. She especially is amazed at the green part of the sky which is just wonderful. Sachi will enjoy the moment to the fullest until the bice arrive. Back at school, Sachi will hear Hee-chan complaining about not having a boyfriend which is normal for high school girls, right? Meanwhile, Rina would excitingly talk about anime musicals. On the other hand, Sachi seemed to be not interested in romance. She felt that when it comes to any sort of human connection, she tends to be colder than others. After having a rough practice, Sachi would enjoy her me time bathing in the twilight scenery for to the fullest. Later that day, she noticed a boy in the bus that she has been seeing a lot for the past few days. She also couldn't help but notice how cute the boy's nieces were. Back at home, we are shown how lively her family is. Her mother and her sister were always so loud, meanwhile her father will always ask them to be quiet. Sachi on the other hand is the quietest one. It seemed that she was one traumatized due to having experienced an earthquake disaster. Back in 2011, Iwaki, which is the city where Sachi lives, was devastated by the earthquake and tsunami. However, their family seemed glad to see how Sachi cheered up after getting to high school. The next few days, Sachi and her friends were having a rough time during practice especially with their senpai, being mad at it all the time. One day, when enjoying her me time at the bus stop, she heard a funny sneeze from her back. Suddenly, a boy climbed up to the road and awkwardly asked her if she is familiar with the place. He asked her if she know any distinctively green woods there. The boy then asked her to come closer and showed her the example of the woods and explained the ones he is looking for. Apparently, the boy is from another school and is there because he is painting landscapes of the area for his exhibition as he is in the art club. The boy then explained that he is trying to paint a beautiful evening scenery and came upon that place. Sachi then pointed him to a spot, but it was already getting dark. The boy then asked if she can help him find a good spot again tomorrow and Sachi agreed. On the bus, the boy introduced himself as Kijinami and talked about themselves a lot. Kijinami told her that he fled from a place devastated by disaster and couldn't return, which is why he is so dedicated to painting. He wanted to capture as much world as possible on the canvas as the scenery he used to take for granted was taken away in the blink of an eye. This made Sachi feel more connected with him as she can relate to the boy. The next day, Sachi already saw Kijinami painting at the spot by the bus stop. Sachi pointed to him the green sky that she really liked. He told her that there was a movie about it and that the green beams of light are supposed to bring good luck. While he was painting, he requested Sachi to play something on her violin. She then played the Oborozukio, which means the moonlight night, and continued playing a few songs until it got dark. On the bus, they made another promise to meet up together again tomorrow to paint at another spot Sachi recommended. After conversing for a while, they then added each other online after Kijinami requested it. This seemed to cheer Sachi up a lot more. The next few days then just went on with them meeting up at the bus stop and returning home together on the bus. They would talk together about their day, about the colors he painted and mistakes she made during practice. At home, they would send a text to each other right before going to sleep. Eventually, her friends found out about her relationship and confronted her about it. However, her friends seemed to be supportive of her and talk about relationship in general. With the festival approaching, her practice was getting more intense and it lasted until late hours. Despite this, Kijinami kept waiting for her until very late. 
She is also aware that even though his collection of evening sceneries was almost complete, he is still there to wait for her. On the bus, Sachi got to hold his sketchbook while he is peeling a tangerine for both of them. Curious, she opened the sketchbook to see his words. She then got to a page with a sketch of a young girl. Kijinami then got panicked and took the sketchbook immediately. Sachi got even more curious and asked if the girl is someone he likes. He then told her that she is his first love from middle school but don't see each other anymore. This revelation got hit Sachi very hard. She couldn't help but think about it all the time and even dream about Kijinami. To distract herself, she diverted all her focus on practicing for the festival. The day before the festival, they rehearsed until late into the night. On her way home, she got a message from Kijinami telling her that he will come to the festival. She couldn't get any sleep that night. On the day, Sachi and her friends performed as best as they could. Her family and Kijinami were there to see her play. In the afternoon, she got a message from Kijinami asking her if she was free and wanted to meet up with her. She seemed reluctant at first but her friends encouraged her to go meet him, telling her that she would otherwise regret it. To avoid having bad memories connected to the bus stop, she just suggested meeting up on the rooftop. Kijinami started by complimenting her violin play during the concert. He then told her about the girl in his painting which is one of his most recent works. She was his friend in middle school and they spent a lot of time together in the art club. However, they got separated in high school and he never managed to properly confess to her. The regret still lingered with him until that day. Sachi then asked him if he still have a feeling for his first love. He then showed her a picture of her playing the violin, which instantly made her burst into tears. Not wanting to have more regrets, he told her about how he fell in love with her after they met on the bus and spoke at the bus stop. He confessed to her and asked her to go out with him, to which she responded by telling him that she will not forgive him if he finds somebody else. They then have a short kiss and enjoyed the beautiful sunset scenery before going down together. So that concludes the recap of Hakubo. What do you guys think? Although the romantic plotline may not appeal to everyone's taste, the film offers plenty of other fascinating elements to enjoy. The picturesque vistas of the quaint villages, lush rice fields, rolling hills, and serene forests at dusk are truly a feast for the eyes, further enhanced by the soothing melodies of classical music for the years. The author also masterfully portrays the characters with striking clarity, authenticity, and honesty, notably capturing the charming innocence of high school students who are yet to realize the growing feelings of love that are slowly blossoming within them. A delightfully sweet portrayal that warms the heart, Please tell us what you think through the comment section. If you like this content, please leave us a like and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching, until we see you again.